Thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves. We're going to take a look at another track builder part. At USA Toys R Us stores, we get these single individual pieces. If you're in Europe or other countries, maybe you get them in baggies. Thanks to Andreas and Keith for sharing these images from their countries. Now, there's several propulsion systems. You have the electronic boosters, which I did a video with uh, ABC. I did a video with those three. That was a propulsion system. You need batteries for that. Some of these, you don't need batteries. Hang it, that's a gravity drop. Clamp it, gravity drop. This video, we're gonna talk about uh, launch it. That's gonna be a launcher. That's just uh, powered by a rubber band. You don't need no batteries. So we're gonna go ahead and review this set right now. This is uh, just one of the parts in this series. Hot Wheels has other track sets that have uh, propulsion systems. I'll be reviewing those track builder parts as well. On the back, it shows that we have two ways to launch our vehicles. You can actually use another vehicle to land on this landing pad and you can slam the car to launch or you can tap it with your finger too. It also says you can pull it back to launch, you know, like a rubber band. Boing! There's a sample of a large layout, and you can use it to start your cars into the system. Because it's a launcher, you know, you can't have cars coming into it. It's a starting point, but there's a nice large track builder layout. We will test this with this new 5-pack. This is a 2016 5-pack. It's a Snowstormers 5-pack, and if you notice... All of the models have white tires. On top, we have uh, Golden Arrow. Not only does he have white tires, but he's got uh, white paint as well. Then, in uh, X Racer Clear Green, you can see right through his body, we have Loop Coop in red. We have the Team Hot Wheels Buggy. Here is Land Crusher. And it's nice to see Pile Driver back. Yep, some, some people might recognize him from a former cartoon from Hot Wheels. On the back of the back, it doesn't say anything about any of these models being track cars. So we'll test them out, see how well they work in a launcher. Not all cars will work in the launchers. Hmm, looks like we got a new name. H that looks like a new name for the buggy. Loop Coop, Pile Driver, Golden Arrow, Doom Crusher. Doom Crusher? That wasn't his name before. Here's a yellow version that I have right here. This one was just from 2015. This was just last year. Land Crusher, Land Crusher, Off-Road 2015 Juggle Rally. That was just last year. Well, it looks like they changed his name. Land Crusher. It looks like now they're going to call him Doom Crusher. I don't know. Maybe it's a temporary change for this pack. I don't know. And what about HWTF Buggy? Well, he was a new model in 2013. That's just a few years ago. And to be honest... They've been changing his names a few times, uh, so I'm not surprised that he has this name. Now, when he first came out, they called him Team Hot Wheels Buggy, and he was from the, uh, the, the, the stuff that they did with Team Hot Wheels. I don't know if you were uh, not in the USA, you did not get this on the back of your packages, the worldwide packages. I don't think they included this information. This one here, mm, I didn't have anything on the back of the Land Crusher card. But you can pause the video if you'd like to read the card. Well, let's open it up. These are the new style boxes with the perforation right there. You can just press on the back. <laughs> the box is kind of uh, squishy. It wants to open up there even though I'm trying to open it down here. There's the dotted line. Come on. I give up. Let's see. What do we have? Okay. Ready to go. There's a rubber band. There's the landing pad or launching pad. Got a little sticker to put right there. I think that's it. Nothing else. Hello. That's it. Let me go ahead and get our sticker put on. Oh, gee, that was terrible. Hey, it's bigger. It's bigger than that spot. Maybe it goes somewhere else. They show it right here. But you don't show where you put it, but that's where I think you put it. Oh, 
right there. Hello, come back. Oh, that makes more sense. Now let's see how we pop this on. There we go. Boing! I added five pieces of Hot Wheels straight track. As you can see, the launcher has different degrees for which you can launch. This is full power, this is medium, and this is low. Since obviously we know full power, the cars will easily fly. Let's do that one first. Here we have Golden Arrow. Let's go ahead and add Pile Driver. That was a nice, smooth cruise. Now let's go ahead and just one dot. Let's go ahead and do the, now it's called HWTF Buggy. I'll just call him Buggy, because that's a long name. Uh-oh, Buggy doesn't fit. He's got those wide wheels in the back. Bummer, dude. Sorry, you can't play. Do you fit on track at all? It's kind of a tight squeeze in there. See, it doesn't even fit on the track. Hey, loop poop. Do you think you can help him out? We'll just give him a medium push. He seems like he's little, oh, his wings. Look, his wings are a little snug in between, but I think the launcher is going to push him through. And let's see if we can get Doom Crusher to push him all the way. Boom! I put the track up over the boxes, made myself a little hill. Since the buggy doesn't fit on the track, let's put him here and let's see who can push him over the top. Let's do one notch and see if that's enough to get them up the hill. Here comes Doom Crusher. Now you can push this button too. Oh, one button's not enough. Or maybe it's just the vehicle. Let's do one button and let's try Golden Arrow. Nope, one button not enough. Two notches. Ah, just enough to get them over the top. Two notches for Dune Crusher. Very good. How about Loop Coop? Let's give them three notches. One, two, three. Last but not least, Pile Driver. He matches the colors. Now I added a track builder loop. That's B in the boxes behind. As for this track right here, I'm not using the long H pieces that I got at Toys R Us. I'm using these smaller pieces that I got at Target and they're available at other stores. If you'd like to see why, you can click the card and find out. We know the buggy doesn't fit, so I'm just going to leave them here from now on. Let's go ahead and choose... Doom Crusher. Remember, he was called Land Crusher before. I don't know if they'll use that name again or not. With loops, I know I got to use at least two notches. I might need three. Uh, yep. Full power! Golden Arrow. Oh, he came out of the loop a little bit. Pile driver, can you help Golden Arrow get down the track? Oh, this part is too long. By the time the cars get to the loop, I got too much track. They're slowing down. Let me take out one of the pieces of straight track. Since I improved my layout, let's go ahead and bring back Pile Driver as well as Golden Arrow and let them have another chance. Golden Arrow. Wipe out. I need to brace my loop. It's a little wobbly. If you have books or tape, you can brace it. For my videos, I use these little weights. One more time, Golden Arrow. And then it's time for pile driver. Oh, he's not working. Let me check, check, check. 
Hmm, I, everything looks okay. Wow, Loop Coop and Land Crusher work the best. Toys R Us have had these individual parts before. As a matter of fact, I unboxed one in one of my videos. It was F2, as a matter of fact. And as you can see, regular old orange track, Hot Wheels orange track. But look at this. That's not orange. I'm looking at the box. That's not orange. I take a peek inside. It's not orange. So now we have a new color for our Hot Wheels track layouts. We have white. There have been lots of co colors over the years. I think these type of curves were designed in the 90s. So, hey, now you got something new for your layouts. Geez, that's bright. Remember they said we can drop a car on the pad? What I'm going to do, the jump it set right there. This is jump it. I'm going to take this part right here, set this aside. I'm going to use this, put it at the end. Now we have something new. Here's my new layout. We're going to start with the track builder tower. They're going to come down a gravity drop. Then they're going to hit this jump. Hopefully we'll land on this landing pad. I will have to pull this back so that it is triggered and ready. Then they're going to launch down here, go into the curve, and come back. We have a special guest appearance. Redbird has volunteered to be the car in the launcher. We're going to push it back. Mm, let's do two notches. Let's see if Golden Arrow can land on the landing pad. Success! Redbird, what happened? All you had to do was go straight down the track. We'll give Redbird one more chance. We pulled it back three notches. Here comes Pile Driver. Oh, way too much for Redbird. Sorry, Redbird, you have to watch. Golden Arrow in the launcher. Pile Driver gonna launch him, and I have it pulled back two notches. Oh, let's do three notches. We switch places, three notches, here it goes, full power! Golden Arrow, you missed the landing pad. Let's scoot it up just a little bit for Golden Arrow. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Golden Arrow's turn in the launcher, pile driver. Oh, sorry, you're right there. Loop Coops next, Land Crusher, I mean Dune Crusher in the launcher. Only two notches, let's see if he can, let's see how far he can make it with only two notches. Oh, he went just as far as Golden Arrow with only two notches. Now we'll give him three. Full power! Ba -da -da, da -da -da. Now it's Loop Coop's turn in the launcher. Two notches. He went the furthest with two notches. Now let's give him three. Full power! I hope you enjoyed my review of the launch it, the launcher, the D piece for the track builder set. If you did, give me a thumbs up, please, and thank you for subscribing. Redbird, thanks for uh, volunteering. Well, you didn't do so good again. Uh, well, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye bye.